deep within the heart of the dense, ominous forest stood Camp Bloodwood, a place long rumored to be cursed by an unspeakable evil. Its murky lake, towering trees, and forgotten trails held the remnants of forgotten tales. Stories whispered amongst the townsfolk, passed down through generations, warning of a malevolent presence that lurked within. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting chilling shadows across the camp, a group of unsuspecting teenagers arrived, eager to experience the thrill of an overnight stay. Amber, Eric, Sarah, and Jake had heard the stories but dismissed them as mere legends, hungry for adventure and adrenaline in the face of the unknown. As the campfire crackled, casting an ethereal glow, the friends settled into their respective cabins, laughter and excitement filling the air. Unbeknownst to them, the fabric of reality began to tear, ghostly whispers mixed with the whispering leaves, and the wind carried an eerie undertone, signaling a presence that had awakened from its slumber. Their first night fell into a restless sleep, plagued by dreamlike visions and the sensation of unseen eyes observing their every move. Awaking to the chill of the early morning mist, they exchanged troubled glances, their intuition tingling with an unspoken dread. Ignoring their unease, they set off on a hike through the twisting trails, unaware of the darkness that awaited. As they meandered deeper into the forest, the ambiance grew more ominous. The trees, barren and gnarled, seemed to reach out with elongated branches, as if grasping at them in desperation. The once vibrant surroundings were tainted drains of color, as if the life force of the forest had been siphoned away. Suddenly, Sarah's piercing scream shattered the silence. The friends rushed towards her, finding her frozen in fear as she stared at the remnants of an old cabin, its dilapidated structure resembling a forgotten graveyard. The air around the ruin grew suffocatingly heavy, whispers of the wronged souls echoing through the rustling leaves. Driven by morbid curiosity, the group entered the cabin, its walls etched with cryptic symbols and faded photographs of past campers. As their eyes adjusted to the dim light, they discovered a hidden trapdoor leading to a subterranean chamber, a claustrophobic labyrinth of tunnels that seemed to stretch endlessly into the darkness. Against their better judgment, they ventured forth into the suffocating maze, their breaths quickening as the air gained a foul, putrid scent. Fear clung to their skin as mysterious whispers grew louder, and the walls seemed to shift, taunting them with shifting shadows and distorted echoes. Only Amber's flashlight pierced the blackness, casting flickering beams through the labyrinth. At every turn, they encountered eerie sights, an old doll, its vacant eyes seeming to follow their every move. Cryptic messages scratched into the walls, warning of unspeakable horrors. Panic swallowed them whole, but they pressed on, their every step a struggle between desperation and sanity. As they navigated the interminable maze, reality unraveled before their eyes. The friends found themselves trapped in a waking nightmare, a realm where the laws of nature no longer applied. Time bent and twisted, the walls pulsated with a malevolent energy, and monstrous apparitions tormented their every waking hour. A sense of impending doom enveloped the group, extinguishing any glimmer of hope. Eric's manic laughter filled the air as the weight of the terror pressed down on him. Desperate, Sarah clung to Amber, her eyes brimming with tears, while Jake struggled to maintain his tenuous grasp on reality. As their sanity slipped away, they stumbled upon a chamber that housed a forgotten altar, a ghastly display of decay and servitude to unspeakable darkness. It was there, in the depths of the haunted camp, that they confronted an ancient evil, a malevolent force that had plagued the land for centuries. Driven to the brink, they fought against the evil's suffocating grip, unwilling to become mere puppets in its shadowy game. With trembling hands and trembling hearts, they pieced together a ritual that promised to sever its hold on this reality. Together, they chanted the incantation, the words thundering through the chamber, reverberating against the decaying walls. As the final syllables slipped through their lips, a flash of light pierced the darkness, banishing the darkness that had taken root. Exhausted and battered, the friends emerged from the depths of the underground labyrinth, 
The forest, once dark and sinister, regained its vibrancy, the air tinged with a newfound vitality. They had triumphed, victorious over the haunted camp, their souls forever marked by the horrors they had witnessed. Years later, Camp Bloodwood remained shrouded in mystery, a place where legends of the cursed haunted. Those who dared venture near would never suspect the darkness that had been vanquished, the souls that had been liberated from their eternal torment. For Amber, Eric, Sarah, and Jake, the ghostly whispers would remain etched into the deepest corners of their beings, a testament to their strength and resilience, forever bound together by the night they cheated death and triumphed over the horrors of the haunted camp. The whispers of the wind seemed to carry a foreboding message as we entered the mysterious forest, nestled deep within Yellowstone National Park. My friends and I, avid adventurers seeking thrills, had heard the legends of this place, tales of vanished hikers and inexplicable phenomena. But fueled by curiosity and a sense of invincibility, we forged ahead. The trees loomed overhead like ancient sentinels, their gnarled branches reaching out to ensnare unwary travelers. The air grew thick with an oppressive silence, broken only by the occasional rustle of leaves and the distant cry of unseen creatures. Despite the unease settling in my chest, I pushed forward, my companions urging me on. We were on the hunt for the truth, determined to unravel the mysteries of this enigmatic forest. As twilight descended, the forest transformed into a realm of shadows and whispers. Strange shapes danced at the edges of my vision, and a sense of being watched haunted my every step. Unease gnawed at my nerves, but I dismissed it as mere paranoia. Then, as if summoned by our presence, the forest came alive with malevolent energy. The ground seemed to shift beneath our feet the trees twisting and contorting in unnatural ways. Panic clawed at my throat as I realized we were not alone in this cursed place. With a primal instinct screaming for escape, we turned to flee, but the forest had other plans. Its twisted pathways seemed to lead us in circles, trapping us within its suffocating embrace. Each step forward only brought us deeper into its clutches. As the night stretched on, our sanity frayed at the edges. Whispers echoed through the trees, mocking our futile attempts to escape. Shadows danced at the corners of our vision, and I could feel the forest closing in around us. Then, in the darkness, we stumbled upon a clearing, a grotesque tableau illuminated by the sickly glow of moonlight. Strange symbols adorned the ground, and a palpable sense of dread hung heavy in the air. Before we could comprehend the horror before us, a deafening roar shattered the silence. Something monstrous emerged from the shadows, its eyes burning with an otherworldly fire. It was a creature of nightmares, a grotesque amalgamation of flesh and bone. Panic consumed us as we realized the true nature of the forest's curse. We were not its first victims, nor would we be its last. With a desperate cry, we turned to flee, but it was too late. The creature descended upon us with savage ferocity, tearing through flesh and bone with its razor-sharp claws. In the end, only I survived to tell the tale, a cautionary warning to those who dare to venture into the heart of the Yellowstone Forest. For within its depths, an ancient evil lurks, hungry for the souls of the unwary. And that's a wrap for today's chilling tale here on Haunting Stories. We hope you enjoyed immersing yourself in the world of the supernatural as much as we did bringing it to you. If you enjoyed this story, please consider subscribing to our channel and giving this video a thumbs up. Your support helps us bring you more scary content. Until next time, remember to keep your lights on and your doors locked. And as always, stay spooky. Goodbye.